Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. So are you sat there and how often do you think that you might make a mistake? How often do you get so wrapped up with it or so absorbed that actually it can ruin quite a lot of your time? How often do you sit there and you think to yourself, oh, I wish I could just go back in time and redo things over again, whether it be something with family, whether it be something with work or just your choice of words. Now, if you're anything like me, and I always tell myself that's because of how conscientious we are, and that's because we want to do good in this life, and we want to do good and to love and look after other people, even if they're not family or friends. But for me, if I make a small mistake, sometimes it can ruin my morning, or it can even ruin the day. I can be stressing and worrying about one thing and another, and actually, to be honest, what does that stress or worry add to us or the situation we're currently going through? Sadly, it doesn't give us any more time on this incredible planet, um, and it sadly doesn't give us any more time in this life. But yet sometimes we choose to worry and twist ourselves all up inside of a mistake which we've done. Why am I talking about this? It's important that we don't scare away or probably shy away from making mistakes, because often that can stop us from living. That can often stop us from having adventures, and that can stop us from fulfilling our actual lives and actually being all that we're intended to be in this planet and in this life. For me, faith is a huge uh, and is my path and is my strength in this life. My family, of course, absolutely. All of my subscribers will know I've been blessed in this family, um, in this family, in this life with my family. My mum and my dad and on that parent table, my nan as well, my mum's mum, is my absolute life and they have brought me so much strength in my life. And if I have any problems or worries or mistakes or anything, they're there to guide me, uh, to guide me, support me and to put me back on the right path. Sadly, I no longer have my nan with me uh, on this earth, but I know she's in heaven up above and I know she guides me and I know she's with me all the time. It's not always easy to think that way. And sometimes when I have my moments where I'm quite down or I'm quite low, and it happens to all of us, and with the greatest intention and will in the world of being able to stay positive, as I do, um, I have moments where I get really wrapped up um, with, unfortunately, if I make a mistake. Now, that's another thing, isn't it? Being frightened of making a mistake or being concerned. So I've had comments on my channel, actually, in the past before, where thinking I'm perfect, and this isn't me getting into a personal debate about what people think of me, because I like to think that people think that I'm a good, honest person. And anything else, that issue lies with them. Because I wish them well, I wish them all the great goodness in this world, and if they have a problem, then I really do take a moment to think about actually what they're going through. Because for someone to pass on that negativity, I often find that the true root of that is because they're going through something or they're not happy with something. And of course, just in this world, sadly, this is a fallen world we live in, there are sadly some people out there who are just setting out to be malicious or nasty. But getting back to what we're talking about and why am I talking about it? Mistakes. I make them. Now, a lot of my subscribers sometimes put comments much to say that I think that I'm perfect or I think that I'm a bit beyond myself or above myself type thing. And it's just to really, and I was thinking about this actually earlier at work, and I want to share this story with you. So, I'm not a perfect person. None of us are perfect. Of course, in my heart, we're all created in God's image. So, for example, those around me and my family are perfect to me, but I wouldn't certainly class myself as perfect. I class myself as being, I'm on the path. I'm on the path to who I'm meant to be. And of course, who we're meant to be, for me, you have to have lived your whole life. And then you are that person when you look back on it for anybody. So, for example, for me, I no longer have my nan with me, but in my eyes, she was perfect and is and is up above me watching over me right now. My parents are too. But mistakes, yeah, we shouldn't be afraid to make them because it doesn't stop us from being good people. In fact, actually, it gives us morals. It gives us understanding. It gives us strength. It gives us integrity. It teaches us. It learns us. It it tells us things about ourselves. It helps us grow, develop, gives us emotional strength, mental strength. It helps us be in a better place than what we were before. 
Now, earlier, I work in finance and um, I have a very stressful job, a very, very stressful job. And there was an area of my job which I had to break down and I had to deliver and I had to, let's put it this way, um, I had to deliver a cost model. Now, and I had to project some figures and over a very unknown and very, very tricky, uh, let's say, subject. Um, now, there was an easy route. There was an easy route that I could have taken, first of all. Um, and that takes a certain amount of skill. That takes a certain amount of knowledge and financial education to be able to know that basic step. But however, I had the conversation with my manager and I thought to myself, you know, no, I can't, I can't take that easy step. I can't take that easy step at all. And then I didn't. And I'd done a lot of investigation and exploring with all different financial uh, sort of bits and pieces and um, methods and uh, reviewing my studying and uh, different equations and one thing or another. And it was a lot of work. In fact, I started uh, just after six o'clock this morning and I pretty much finished with that by about one o'clock. So it was a lot of my time, a lot of effort going into this. But I wanted to do good. I wanted to achieve and I wanted to work hard to deliver something I could own, something I would know inside and out and be proud of. Right at the start of the day, there was an easy option I could have taken. Now, after a conversation I had when I delivered this, I was congratulated on the work that I'd done. Now, I was congratulated. However, they said a really fantastic uh exploration, Bradley, of what you've done there, and you've gone through it really, really well. But why didn't you just do this? And I said, well, I didn't do the easy option, which I exactly thought of what you've just said this morning, because I didn't want people to think that I didn't try hard, or I didn't put the effort in, I just took the easy route. And you know what, that was a mistake on my behalf. That was a mistake on my behalf, because that was me overly thinking things, overly analysing things, when actually people probably would have appreciated the response much more quicker than me taking the time to be able to do an in-depth sort of exploration, investigation, very methodical um, forensic review to be able to deliver something almost perfect. However, nothing in this life is perfect. And if I'd have only just took that first corner, which okay wasn't a mistake, but if I would have just took that first corner, I would have probably got six hours back of my working day and I could have got through a lot more and probably helped a lot more people. So yes, that may well have been a mistake, but through that story, do you see what I'm trying to say? Some of you may be thinking, no. Sometimes if we have an idea in our head and we think that actually I'm not going to do that, what a mistake. Sometimes taking a step back in life and actually thinking, do you know what? I think that this is the right thing to do. It may be the easy option. Sometimes it will be the harder option, but I'm going to do it. And you're going to follow your heart. You're going to own it and you're going to do it. By not being afraid to make those quick decisions eliminates us from making those mistakes. Sometimes, not all the time. But what I've learned from that this morning is that actually, if I'd have just listened to myself and had a little bit more confidence and actually thought, do you know what? No, I'm going to be able to justify that. I'm going to be able to explain that. I'm going to be able to own that. It may be the easier option, but in that moment in time, it's the best option. That was the mistake I made. The mistake I made was not taking ownership, not having the confidence in being able to justify what I knew I was talking about. In the end, I spent six hours putting it all through a chapter and verse loads of it, <laughs> and then giving a presentation, which was fantastic. And yeah, was probably really beneficial to show the person who I was showing just what I could do. But actually, it didn't answer the question. It didn't tick the box uh, for what was required at that time. So on behalf, yeah, it was great, but it was a mistake. It was a mistake because I couldn't utilize my time efficiently. I couldn't help others where I needed to. and I couldn't deliver on other things which I needed to. So it was a mistake. So, of course, mistakes have knock-on effects as well. Now, let's kind of mirror that into life. So, for example, for me, do you know what? Sometimes, often, I worry about making mistakes, sometimes saying the wrong thing, sometimes using the wrong thing, or when I've not had the time or I've not been able to juggle something to help somebody, or I've not put myself out there so much to help somebody because of something, perhaps, how I've been feeling or health-wise or what's been going on, and I've been beating myself up sometimes for days thinking, 
and in my prayer, I, I, I talk, I talk to the Lord and I, and I go through what I've been thinking and the stresses and worrying and how it makes me feel and perhaps how I'm perceived. Um, and I'm there worrying about what does the Lord think and, and what does other people, um, their impression, my, the knock on effect. And I'm there and it's just going round and round and round. And actually, when you eliminate all of that away, okay, from what we've talked about in life here, and okay, somebody who's not of faith, if you've made a mistake, for example, whether it be family, perhaps you, let's break this right down, perhaps you've spoken to a loved one really sharply and you think the world of them and you don't mean it, okay, you've made a mistake. The key to all of this, what we're talking about, isn't necessarily the mistake. Yes, of course, if we could not make mistakes, then fantastic. But the trans, the transgression of this is learning from it. Mm, the learning from it. Like what we've talked about here. The learning of it. That concept that actually, let's just revisit all of these things here. If you've spoke to a loved one, say for example, a parent, a grandparent, an uncle, or a best friend, inappropriately or sharply or, or spoke to them just not very nice. You've learned actually that it's made you feel really, really bad. Where would you be in this world without them? And it breaks your heart that actually how you spoke to them is really stressing you out. So the lesson from that is to cherish what you have, appreciate what you have, because to tomorrow it might not be there. You've realized just how important they are in your life and what they mean to you. Lesson learned. Me with faith. And I'm trying to tell myself this. Yes, just by human nature, we make mistakes. Sometimes we say the wrong things. Sometimes, sadly, as much as we want to help everybody, we can't. But as long as we do our best, it is the learning from it. And it, and it is the relationship with the Lord above and Jesus, which develops and grow and becomes just so amazingly beautiful and strong that actually that's the winning cause all the way through, the growing relationship with God. Not, you've made a mistake, you're walking around, you're hanging your head down thinking, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what does it all think of me? Don't set out to make mistakes, of course not. But if you've made one, forgive yourself, move on from it, listen to the teachings in behind it. With work today, with the story what I said, yes, I made that mistake, I've learned from it now that actually to trust what I was originally thinking. Trust, even if it's a simple option, it may well be the best. That's not always going to be the same for every situation, and certainly not for the same for everybody else. But our mistakes don't define us. What defines us is what we do after we've done that mistake. Do we just pause? Do we go into a dark corner? No. We get back up. We get back up. We go again. So my message to you, my subscribers, my viewers, all of you amazing people, is, yeah, make a mistake. You're probably going to make fair, <laughs> a fair view in this life. We all will. But it's okay to make a mistake. But stop, restock, and go again. You've got this. Okay, I really, really hope that that sort of, um, that hits home with, with at least somebody. And I really, really hope from my heart to yours that it does. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid of making mistakes because they do grow us. They charge us up ethically. They charge us up and teach us morals and understanding and harness our integrity. And yeah, they make all of those great things in life stronger and they teach us and they grow us. Um, isn't that pretty amazing? And on that note, God bless. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. God bless, take great care and bye for now.